Hello Internet, Xenos here, and today we are going to look at how to badly draw Homer Simpson. So, first step as always, you start with a circle. Normally your circle is a perfect circle, mine is more of a blob on the paper. You put a wonky cross in the middle of this circle and you draw two circles for Homer's eyes. Now ideally you want these circles to be the same size, however I went for different sizes because why the hell not? Why not? So you draw another shape for his mouth, you draw a line across the middle of his mouth, his nose, and then his head you want to make nice and big. However, I went for the slimmed down Homer Simpson version instead, just because why not? I tried to rectify the nose, but instead I made his nose even larger and even more deformed. So we're now going back over it. We are giving more definition to his eyes, and again we make the left eye extremely wonky. I try to rectify my mistakes with the mouth, give it a bit more definition, a bit more shape, but I think I have made it look worse. The little lip looks completely stupid. You now draw his teeth, and obviously they are completely uneven, because why would we go for an even shape, but never mind. We try to rectify the head as we give it more definition and just completely screw it up. But you know what? Let's add the detail of the ears in. Let's give him a bit of a chin because that makes all the difference. Let's give him his iconic hairline which looks awful and the hair on the top which even that two simple lines we somehow messed up. Now let's give it some color. Let's color in his beard. Let's make it nice and brown. Now as I'm coloring in I'd like to draw attention to his nose which is still rather deformed. Um, there's not really much we can do there, it's just, it's just bad. Now, as we're colouring in again, really, you're supposed to colour in the same way, but I have a theme, I have a theory. Why stick with what you're supposed to do, when you can just do what the hell you want? So, I was use, as I was colouring in, I tried to clear up the shape of his mouth, but I, 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 I just made it worse. And we added in a line under his eye, so his eyeball is no longer floating in the void of space. And we continue to colour in Homer Simpson as best as we can. Now, as you can see, I'm not very good at colouring. And I'm not very good at drawing, really, to be honest. You are supposed to remove your pencil lines before you begin colouring in. So you don't get a horrible black tinge all over your picture. But I just took that process and just just out of the window, I did my own. Now we're going around with the black to give Homer even more definition and make our monstrosity even more apparent. I tried to rectify my mistake with his eye and just just fail. I tried to sort out his hairline and his head, but again, I just make it worse. He seems to be very off point, very deformed. I have managed to slightly cover up the issue with his nose, but as we can see, it's kind of Homer Simpson and it's just awful. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs>